Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, November 4th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on Patreon. You're welcome to join that. We have already, we've been active for now five, six days and we have already 23 um active traders on that uh, the service so you're welcome to join that it's a whole lot of fun actually so um we'll start off by looking at the us dollar index and as you can see we have broken down quite significantly today we broke below the 50 moving average rallied again at the moment we are trading above the 50 moving average um at this point i do believe that we are going to go lower we most likely will cross the 50 uh, the moving average tomorrow and then we'll head towards these lows of 92.65 as you can see the technical indicators are turning around especially the cci and the stochastic um, and that means that we will see much lower levels so most likely if we cross the 50 moving average we'll head towards these lows a rally from here will go and test this highs of 40 uh, 94.27 uh, and then probably to these highs after that then there is the 200 moving average above. Of course, this had an enormous effect on, on the commodities market and also the precious metals. Uh, for instance, gold, uh, oil and gold, which we'll look at now. So oil, we can see that we have rallied significantly yesterday and also today. We gave some of these um, gains back, uh, but at this point, um, um, it's just a matter of time before we go to the 50 moving average. We can see that most of these indicators are turning around. And I was thinking about basically entering this market, but I uh, I, I thought, no, that's not going to happen uh, until basically these indicators are going to turn around. The CCI is particularly um, uh, bullish at this point, and that means that we will most likely go higher. Uh, in order to enter this market, you basically need... Um, a weak red candlestick uh, on a daily chart in order to signal that we are not going to continue further. Something similar to this pattern or this pattern here. So at this point, I do believe that will go up all the way to the 50 moving average and uh, this will be major resistant. Um, down below, if we uh, break the uh, 200 moving average, then we'll head again to the $33 level, which was... Um, uh, support yesterday. In time, I do believe it's just a matter of time before we go to uh, $30. Uh, dollars. Um, it doesn't really matter who wins the election, uh, how much stimulus uh, there is going to be um, promised. Um, there's just not enough demand in the economy at, this mo at the moment, in the world economy, for this to rally significantly to the upside. So it is just buying the uh, the the rallies, no, selling the rallies, I'm sorry. Um, that is probably the best strategy here. So looking at natural gas. Well, look what technically happened. This is basically what we have been waiting for. So we were way overstretched. Technical indicators have all turned around. Now it's just a matter of basically picking the entry. 3,000 is possible, but the best possible entry here is basically at the two, uh, 2.8 level. So we have, um, if we get this line up here, we have a trend line that's around there. It's exactly on the 50 moving average. So if we could basically go to this trend line here, uh, that would be a very good sign to basically enter. A break below this will open the door to around 2.5 and then 2.3, and then all the way to the 200 moving average. But at this point, I don't think that is going to happen. We are in a, uh, in a bull run here, and we basically need to break the 50 moving average in order to do, to do that. So it's a matter of just picking that entry through a buy and having a stop loss underneath. So looking at copper, we have rally today, but we gave that uh, most of those uh, that rally back. So this is mainly due to the um, U.S. election, stimulus, and so on. But really, it, it, 
similar is going to be like three, four months away. It's not going to happen straight after the election, especially if um, if um, if uh, Biden wins. Uh, Donald Trump is going to do whatever he basically takes in order to ruin uh, technically everything. So don't expect any any stimulus from Donald Trump if he loses. And if the if Donald Trump wins, then of course, and uh, if Democrats hold both chambers of Congress, then there's going to be a lot of problems uh, on the on the way. At this point, I'm waiting for this to break the 50 moving average in order to short it. I have no interest in basically buying this. Even if it rallies, we'll have major resistance at 3.1 and then 3.2. So. Wait for a break below the 50 moving average that opens the door to these lows. Technical indicators are mixed. MACD is technically flat. Stochastic is very fairly bullish. The CCI is bullish. And the RSI is flat at this point. So if you look at gold, we can see that we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average, which we basically expected yesterday. Um, we have not tested the 50 moving average, and I don't believe that we are going to test the 50 moving average. If we have a rally in the US dollar index tomorrow, this will basically break to the downside really fast. So uh, still, even though if we break the 50 moving average, we have to um, break through this entire area here, which is which was support for a resistance for a significant amount of time. So I favor a pullback towards um, 1850 or 1800. That will basically be the best possible buy for the long run because this is uh, a market that is going to go higher. Uh, there's going to be a significant amount of spending uh, from um, governments in the next coming year in order to get the economy going again and also from central banks. So waiting for a pullback towards the 1800 level then buy in order to go long. So if you look at silver, silver rallied again, but gave away everything, all the rally basically. So we didn't even get close to the 50 moving average. And we have tried this several times now over and over again. It is just a matter of time before we break uh, below these uh, lows and head towards the $20 range. Technical indicators for silver are, well, they're mixed. MACD is flat, the stochastic is fairly bullish, the uh, CCI is fairly bullish, and the RSI is technically flat. So a pullback towards the uh, $20 level is basically what we're waiting for in order to buy. A break above the 50 moving average opens the, the, the door to these highs, but this will be massive resistance. So we need to basically break down before we go higher. So if you look at Kokoa, so Kokoa has started, it basically rallied today. It wasn't surprising because we were over oversold. And what we maybe see here is that we will rally a little bit and then break uh, down again. If we rally all the way to the 200 moving average or the 50 moving average, that will be massive resistant. I just don't think that is going to happen. I think that we are basically seeing um, uh, lower lows here. So we'll rally a little bit and then head down and rally to a little bit and head down all the way down to these lows of 2.0 which will be our our basically the the lows of the lows so we are trading in between the highs here of 7.2.7 uh, sorry and 2.0 and at this point i think that we'll go all the way down to this low before we rally significantly Technical indicators for Kokoa are looking much better. Stochastic is turning around. Uh, CCI is basically turning around. Oh, so is the RSI. So we may rally a little bit. And we probably also will rally all the way to the 50 moving average. But I don't think that we are going to break it. I think that in the, in the, when we reach that, we'll find resistance somewhere in this area here. And then we'll break uh, back to the lows. So if you look at platinum, we can see that we tried to rally again today. We're still trading in between the 50 and the 200 moving average. And this is not a very good sign. It seems like we, there is absolutely no way for us to break um, above the 50 moving average. 
and there is a massive amount of support underneath. So this is a very tricky market to trade at this point um, because it can break both to the downside and to the upside. Um, as you can see, we tested the downside several times, but we have a massive amount of support. We have a massive amount of resistance above. So we're basically stuck in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. Uh, my best um, advice here, stay away from this. This is um, it's not a clear sign where we're going. And, and when I make trades, I like to see basically where we are going, either uh, to the upside or the downside. And at the moment, we're basically just stuck here. In order to start shorting this, we have to get through this entire area here in order to short to these lows. And to buy, we basically have to break the 50 moving average and then we can buy for these highs. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we tried to rally. We came all the way to 0 0.1519 and then we broke down again. And this was not, uh, not totally unexpected. Uh, we are way overstretched. We tried to re rally yesterday. We tried to rally again today. And then we broke down to the downside. We are now not significantly overbought. Uh, technical indicators are turning around. And uh, what I do expect is basically for us to trade sideways for a few trading days and then probably break towards the 50 moving average. And that will open the door for a buy. Break below the 50 moving average, opens the door to the 200 moving average. And um, as you can see, this is not a promising candle. We will, we are overstretched and we basically need a pullback before we go higher from here. So we look at wheat. We can see that we tried to rally today. We broke down quite significantly, but um, well, even though we try again, we'll find major support here around this area here. A break below this opens the door to the 50 moving average and that will be even more su uh, supportive. So it may well be that we continue sideways or we rally from here. Technical indicators for, for wheat are looking much better. You can see that CCI is turning around here, the stochastic is turning around and also the MACD is, is far away from the signal line but it is showing signs of basically turning around. MAC RSI is technically flat at this point. So. If we, um, we are technically at 54, so there's a lot of room to the upside. We may well rally to these highs. That is completely possible. Um, this may well be the lows that we were waiting for, and this is basically the rally. But this is not an encouraging candle. This is basically buyers coming in and pressuring this price down. So um, I would be cautious. If you wanted to enter this market, you should probably have entered here. Um, Enter at this moment is quite risky. We can break to the upside. We can definitely also break to the downside. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us on Patreon uh, with our uh, signal service. So good luck and thank you very much.